Hello, today I'll be showing you how to make more validation rules, well like the same validation rules but just like a few more in case you forget. So first we're gonna be making the validation rules that my dad assigned me to do to while recording. So you have to go on the account object and then you have to go to validation rules. I'm saying this out loud because you might not remember. And for some reason, if you don't remember, that's pretty weird because... <laughs> okay, never mind. So first, we're going to call it... Um, okay, swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Oops. And we're back. Well, <laughs> at least you can get a refresh of your memory again. So, f so... Okay, I need to take deeper breath. <sighs> Okay, so if that equals swimming pool, and you know, I can just type in, and blank value is, wait, actually no, and billing address, wait, we have to insert the field, so remember, every field, you should probably just check here. Because then you'll know you spelled it correctly because you literally have to type in without a space and capitals here. Like you would remember that. <laughs> like why would you remember that? Just click insert field whenever you're adding an insert field. And after that, the record type name, if it equals... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 It's a good thing I did it. So I found out we were actually supposed to put the N at the beginning. So yeah, coding is confusing, but once you get the hang of it, you'll find out how to do it. And my dad helped. So basically what I did wrong was I added N at the end, but that's not the only thing wrong. The reason it said there's something wrong with swimming, it's not because... <laughs> it's not because it's spelled incorrectly or anything. It's because on things where you want to see what the name is, that's where you put the these things around it. Why did I forget what they're called? These things, what is it called again? I forgot. Quot oh yeah, quotation marks. <laughs> I, still, I can't believe I forgot it. What it's called. So you need those around the name of something. And you don't put it around it, only if it's like, like basically just the record type, the record type. If it's a field, then it doesn't, then it doesn't need the quotation marks. But if you want to find out the name of like uh, one of the fields, then you have to put quotation marks around it. And also you do is blank if you want to find out something is blank. So actually over here, it doesn't work like normal sentences would. So for example, this and. The and is over, right? Yeah, here. It checks. It, it's not checking it. Well, actually, it checks out the other argument is true and returns to if all arguments are true. Yeah, so it's basically checking it together. So it's together. Because if it wasn't together, it would mean even if it's a swimming, even if the name is swimming pool, then it's always going to show the error message, which would be wrong. Which would be wrong. So you need to add it together with the and function. So also the is blank function checks whether this thing is ch is like blank or something like that. If it's like true, so basically you just have to do that. So then for the error message, it'll be this swimming swimming pool must have an a billing address. Why didn't we? Why don't you just make it a required field? <laughs> you could basically just do that. <laughs> but that's okay. This is just for learning. So if the account record type, oh yeah, this one's on the next one. It's we have to check if the family, like the family, has to have a phone number. So yeah, that's all for this validation rule. But then we're gonna be doing the next one. But we need to test this actually. Okay, let's test this first. 
So let's go to here. Oh no, here. Yeah, here. And then let's check the accounts because that's where it was on. Just check the my accounts to see all of them. So I think we just have to go to here. And then let's see the details. This is where I'm testing this, by the way. So let's see the billing address if there's nothing. And then we're going to try and attempt to save. Oh, oh I hate it when I can do that. I think I use my two fingers and then drag it to left. And then it just takes me out of it. It's weird. Because this is not, this is actually my dad's computer. And then my computer is downstairs. But, well, it's my dad's computer too, but... Well, this is the one he uses most. And let's see. Billing address. If we add nothing in. Okay, stop with D is actually over here. If we put nothing in the billing. Like this. Oops. 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 It said nothing in here. And nothing in here. I like it. And if we do this. The swimming pool must have a billing address. Yes, you see that? You see that? So we gotta do cancel. Okay, now the next validation rule is that if the account record type is family, you gotta have a phone number, boy. <laughs> so let's go on the account object. Account object. Make new validation rule. Validation rule. Since we know how to do this one. So <laughs> since we know how to do the other one, the swimming pool, then I think I know how to do this one. So... F Family must have phone number. Family phone number. Family with no phone number. No family phone number error. Family phone number error. Oops. I'm just gonna do family phone number. Family phone number. Okay, and then this one is gonna be. So, in that. Okay, with that, we're gonna do a camera record type. The account record type by the big name. The name, you see that? The name, and if it equals, oh, we gotta do and at the beginning, boy. We gotta do and like that. <laughs> and then for the record type, you gotta do make the record type. You gotta make a family. The record type better be family, or else this thing won't work. And then the next one we're gonna be doing oh wait, we gotta gotta do this in the first one. Gonna go to do this one and then we're gonna go do and then for the next one we're gonna be doing is blank. Is blank is blank I don't know. Oh okay, yeah, we can just type is blank and we're gonna do on the next one we're gonna write down is blank. If it's blank then if this thing is blank then what are we taking? Oh yeah this Wait, why did I type in X? Okay, so if the phone number is blank, so we gotta insert the field of the phone number. Where is the phone number, boy? Where is the phone number? The phone number is over. I'm just gonna go to this. Phone number, I think this is the phone number. I don't think it matters anyway, so I'm just gonna do insert. That means I don't have to put in phone number. I can do this. Can just do that. Family phone error. But I think I'm gonna do this instead. No, not like that. I'm gonna err like this. I don't think that matters, but okay. And we do that, and then at the end we do that because it's that. And then I'll be showing you why. So the reason why we have to do this is because on the is blank function, the thing has to have the, what is it, <laughs> what is it called, <laughs> whatever it is called, I think, um, I forgot what it is called, but you gotta have this around whatever you want it for the function, and then this function has to have this thing at the end and the start, so this thing is together, and I hope you understand even though I'm using this voice. And then the air message, but so you must have a phone number, boy. <laughs> this the family must no, not the family, the the family. Fa no, the phone number, the phone number field must be the phone number field must have number, the phone number field must have a f must have a phone number in it, a phone number in it, boy, phone number in it, a phone number in it. In it. And I'm gonna do shave.
We got it, boy. And now we gotta do what we did before. I'm do this. So what we do? We do the family. The family. So now we gotta go check. Go check on the couch. 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 Now we gotta do. Now we gotta do. You just search up on um, I see do this one, this one, and then we gotta go details. And if the phone number has nothing, no one will care. Or no. I can't me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So what we gotta do is we gotta do this again. <sighs> okay, I'm getting tired of using this voice. I'm just gonna do this in normal voice from now on. Actually, I'm still gonna do the video doing this voice, boy. So, all we gotta do now, since this voice is normal, I better stop doing this because this is very serious. So, we gotta do it like this. Luxy, the phone number for you must have a phone number in it, boy. But what if we do this? Hey, hey, nothing can be. Haha, <laughs> no one can prevent this now. And now we can click save. <laughs> so the phone number is one there, boy. Okay, actually, we need to type in something in. What did we have in before? Um, I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna do that. I hope it's not actually someone's phone number. And if it is, then rip them. <laughs> no, not rip them. And then we gotta go through here. Um, I made this really long. Can't believe how long this is very long you just have no not not the phone number long but the video is very long i hope it hasn't been like 10 minutes let me go check um, it's been like 20 minutes 20 minutes are you kidding me well that was a total waste of time <laughs> no it's not a total waste of time you learn something so i hope you remember this remember validation word keep that in your head and remember Coding is coding. It's not normal sentences. Don't make the same mistake I did. So goodbye, people. <laughs>